A combination is combining more than one tessellation move on one shape. The example combination move, I'm going to use the isosceles right triangle. Number the sides of the isosceles right triangle. One, two, three. Find the midpoint of side three by folding this vertex to this vertex. That crease will be the midpoint of side three. Draw a shape on one side of side of the midpoint of side three and cut that piece out. Perform a midpoint rotation with the piece that you just cut out on side three and tape that piece onto side three. Onto side one, draw another shape. And cut that shape out. Perform a rotation about a vertex from side one to side two. The reason this rotation about the vertex works is because we have an isosceles triangle. Side one and side two are the same length. Tape that piece from side one onto side two. The reason this is called a combination is because we have combined two different moves onto the same tile. We combined a midpoint rotation and a rotation about the vertex. A combination gives us very unique designs. This tile will also tessellate the plane. In order to get this tile to tessellate, I'm going to need to do a midpoint rotation. Now I want to keep rotating around this vertex. So I need to rotate around that vertex. and I need to rotate one more time. But that only gives me half the picture. If I were to rotate around this vertex, I'm gonna to have to do a midpoint rotation. Now to rotate, to keep going, I would need to line up my piece like this, and then another midpoint rotation. I'm a little bit off the paper, but that's all right. Rotate around the vertex. Do another midpoint rotation. So I can rotate differently depending on which vertex I rotate around.
the notation for this combination, I started on side 3 and I ended on side 3 with a midpoint rotation. I started on side 1 and ended on side 2 with a rotation about a vertex. This is one example of a combination. There are many, many more that we're going to study in class. Tape this tile to your paper.